Hey everyone, welcome into my channel. So today we are going to do a couple of things. We're going to take a look at what has been selling. Recently, my sales really started to pick up. I'm not quite sure what made the change. I feel like I list consistently and then inconsistently because of being on YouTube. It's a lot of work, but lately my sales have been picking up. It could be that the country is experiencing a lot of hot weather and people are on their phones more rather than spending spending time outside. You never know with online sales what is going on, but I will take it all day long. Yesterday was Sunday, July 9th, and I did make the update to my eBay store. I switched all almost 4,000 listings to Ground Advantage. We'll see how that works. I couldn't take the time to identify what was first class, what was parcel. I said, you know what? I'm just going to throw them all into this new Ground Advantage uh, USPS shipping service. So that's how I handled it. Who knows? We'll see how that works out. All right, but in today's video, we are going to pull shipping together in the basement. I filmed that portion before the weekend, and then over the weekend, I had really good sales. I haven't had sales like that in a while, so very appreciative. For those of you who are asking, yes, Roger is a full-time eBay reseller. He sells a lot. <laughs> he sells volume and he also works part-time driving for a custom cabinetry place. Roger is a cabinet maker by trade. He retired from that, but the company, one of the companies he worked for asked uh, if he would help deliver the custom cabinetry. So I think today he's near New Jersey. I don't even know. He got up quite early. All right, so that's what we're doing in today's video. I might throw in snippets, snippets, whatever we call it, of different things going on around here. We are settling into the space. Roger has moved in. We have not done things like really hung artwork or um, we do have an ant problem. I have to say that. So we're battling a big ant problem. Anytime you do an addition, you stir up the soil, the ants don't know what's going on. So we're, we're doing that. We are hanging curtains. I got some curtains hung. We got some curtains hung uh, near the slider doors. We just took them down from the old primary bedroom and put them over the slider glass door. All right, so I think that's everything. I might include a few snapshots of what the bedroom is looking like, or maybe I'll just get out of the way and show it to you. This is the rug right there that everybody is asking about. I'll try to include a link. I got it on Amazon, 75% off. And if you're seeing this video and we're still having Prime Day, okay, so Amazon Prime is the 11th and the 12th. Today is the 10th. This video will come out the 12th. You might have a slim chance to see if the rug is on sale if you want it. I think it's L-O-L-O-I, L-O-I. I'll leave the title of it in the description. I shouldn't even try to spell things. All right, but that's what's going on. We are set up. We are ready to hang a big TV over my dresser. And yeah, we got the chairs in. So let me get out of the shot and show you what it looks like. So that is the bedroom. I'm going to say about 75% of the closet is done. We have one more bar and shelf. Maybe I'll just turn the camera around and show it to you. See, see where we're at. I did post pictures of the bathroom on Instagram. So if you don't follow me over on Instagram, you can take a look at that lavender clothesline on Instagram. And this morning I took a jacuzzi bath. Can I just say, oh, so good. And you know, this bathtub comes with changing lights that you can't shut off. And I was like, Oh, I'm going to have to deal with lights. I love the lights. Who knew that I would like disco lights in my tub? But um, maybe I'll include a shot of that, what the tub looks like with changing lights. All right. All of the craziness, all of the time. I don't know where I'm winding up, truthfully. I just turned the camera on and film now because there's no planning anything. All right. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into the basement. Let's take a look at what's sold on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. I think there were a few sales. I'm going to include sales that we made for Roger. So as he was moving out of his house, he had so much stuff. We were throwing things onto Facebook Marketplace. Quite a bit of that sold. I'll include that too. And, um, and hopefully we'll catch Roger when he comes home from work. Love you guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.
Good morning, my friends. We are going down into the basement. I have not turned any of the lights on or shut the fans off so that there's not a lot of noise. This is the routine I do when I'm coming down to film for you guys. <gasps> How is this for a hack? I actually put some laundry soap that smells really good on a paper towel and hung it on the fan because I'm trying to keep everything fresh down here. So if you're new to my channel, I am a full-time eBay reseller who houses all of my inventory in the basement and now I have a new husband starting to move in. So the majority of Roger's stuff is just coming in and we have yet to organize. Here is one of his bins. So all of his treasure is carefully packed and uh, made the move safely. I don't think we had any casualties. Check this out. This is a color TV VCR combination that Roger is selling. This should bring about 300 with a full box of VHS Disney tapes. I think he picked this up at a yard sale. I'll have to ask him, but um, that is on Facebook Marketplace right now. I'm sure he's going to put that on eBay. So when Roger was moving out of his house, he had quite a few large items. I will insert some screenshots here. They were items that um, he needed gone as soon as possible, so we didn't have to move them. There was one of those big Nautilus weight gyms. There was a card table that would seat, I think, 10 poker players and we needed to get rid of stuff so I threw that stuff onto my Facebook marketplace and we sold quite a bit of that. Here is a shot of the very cool VCR TV combo with VHS tapes. Look at all these Disney tapes. This has not sold yet but I believe Roger is going to also list it on eBay. Next up is a restaurant cart that he found in a Goodwill. He had this for a while and just never got around to listing it. We listed it and it sold, I believe in three days, he got $80 for it. I think this one still retails for about $250. Here is the poker table. This seats 10 people. This got sold probably within the first hour of listing it. And I believe we got $100 for it. Next up is a huge Nautilus type weight system. This currently sells for $3,000 and Roger accepted an offer of $600 because we definitely did not want to move this out of his basement. We were so glad to see this thing go. Three men had to come and take this apart. Now here is a hint if you ever sell these. Tell the person buying it to take photos of it because these are very hard to put back together correctly without the instruction manual, which I don't think we had the full manual, but the three men took it apart. It took them about an hour and a half. Next up is just a pile of miscellaneous. A flea market vendor came in and bought this and I think Roger uh, wanted $150 and I believe he took $100 because this was at the very end of loading the last haul before moving out of his rental house. Here is a foosball table. He put this into storage. This is new in box. Uh, this is not sold yet, but I wanted to give you an idea of the types of things that we were selling all craziness at the last minute. All right, let's get on with the video. Let's turn on some lights. You can see here empty bins. I have been processing quite a bit. So let's turn this light on. Old school. <laughs> Hope that didn't blind you. All right, we're gonna shut this fan off for now and move it out of the way. And turn on all the lights. We're gonna pull shipping this morning. This morning is Friday. Well, it's Friday all day. I have to pick up a new piece of plastic for this at Home Depot today. I just buy a plastic drop cloth. I think these are drop cloths or covers and I cut them to cover my clothing. 
Yesterday, I did a Facebook Marketplace local pickup for the oak plant stand. I got $100 for that. So that was great. I'm trying to pare this down. I would love to be able to fit uh, just packing materials in this corner. Always moving things around, guys. Always in the state of flux. Nothing ever stays the same down here. All of these bags are packing material. I'm at a total loss where to keep this. Very bulky, but very light. All of this stuff. Packing paper, peanuts, all the things. All right, let's turn these lights on so we can... I forgot that one's a switch. So that we can pull shipping together this morning. So many of you leave comments that you love when I pull shipping to show you what's selling. All right. So this is what it's looking like back here. Still plenty of room to walk, so I'm happy with this. This is what the shot looks like from this side. I've been talking about still a little bit dark, but good enough for this morning. All right, let's see what's sold. I'd like to get all of this shipped out today. And I'm trying to get a jump on the video schedule so that Roger and I can have at least one day a weekend or half a day to be able to just hang out, maybe putts around the house. Yep, I said putts. <laughs> Let's get the phone going. Let's see if my phone will recognize my face. Pretty bad when your phone doesn't recognize your face. <laughs> All right, let's go into the eBay app. And it says nine plus things have sold. The first one is an Ann Taylor loft. Uh, this is a 16 shift dress. Now, I don't know why Ann Taylor calls size 16 a plus size. I would not, but that's what we're going to look for. It sold for $28. Let's go find that dress. Dresses are this first rack here. And... I'm going to look for it in extra large prints. This sticker tells me the last time I inventoried what was in the bin. To be truthful at this level, I don't have time to inventory every single item periodically to make sure they haven't fallen off of eBay. Items falling off of eBay is a real thing. It's just the nature of the business, unfortunately. A little bit of sheetrock dust. I have to dust the tops of my bins and oh... This should be the dress right here. I'm going to leave the bin open. You never know what else has sold. So it is Loft Plus. Loft is always Ann Taylor. And uh, size 16. $28. Let's go to the next item. The next uh, order are two items. They are golf skorts. One is a Nike dry fit in blue, extra large, and the other one is a Nike dry fit medium. Very interesting. Two different sizes going to the same buyer. I usually don't see that. Both Nike. I'm going to look on this first rack. Now, I haven't pulled back the plastic at all. Normally, I do that. Let's just put it towards the middle. Skirts are right over here. This looks like it might be it here. Is this a Nike? It is dry fit. So we have that one. And I'm looking for the other one. I think this might be it. Let's see what size this is. This is a size something. Can't see it from now. I'm going to pull this one down. I always double check to make sure. Once in a great while, I do send out the wrong item. I think it's happened maybe three or four times in my reselling career. So not bad. All right. So we're going to take a look. I think it might be a different, a different skirt. Yeah, it's not this one. This one has a kick pleat. This one is just orange and it's a medium. So that one, I do not have the correct one, but I believe this is the correct one. This is an extra large. Yeah, so this one is correct. This one, I have to change out for an orange one. I think it's the next one over. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, pretty sure this one's it. All right, so the two sold for, what did I say, $44? Uh, okay, I have to go back. I think they were both 22 each. Yep, $44 for the two. So as I've shared in the past, I use clear Ziploc bags to package all of my clothing. 
when the item sells, like this Ann Taylor Love dress, I send the item out in this bag. So I take out my little tag, I depress the air, and I just slip this into a poly mailer. Shoes are different. And here is an Ikea bag of shoes that I have just polished, disinfected, and listed and brought downstairs. Shoes get put into these bags to be put on the shelf, but then when the shoe sells, I take the shoe out of the plastic and reuse the plastic. So here is a bag of bags that I'm going to be packing these shoes to be able to put into inventory. So these are just shoes that I picked up. I think I picked these up at Mount Joy Gift and Thrift. Uh, they recently had a 50% off sale. And I polished all of the shoes with the Martin's Wonder Balsam. They came out beautiful. And I disinfect the insides of shoes with Clorox wipes. I slip on a pair of gloves and just make sure the shoes are in really nice condition. Okay, this one has a little bit of the balsam. There we go. Had a little a little smear of the balsam, but these, these look so much better. All right, and we're going to use this IKEA bag to collect what we're shipping out. So I'm just going to stick that in there. All right, all of these bins are empty. This all had inventory that was waiting to be listed. All of that is upstairs in the photography studio. Definitely a system, always a system going so I can keep track of what is what, what is listed and what needs to be shipped. And I will stack these bins, you know, put them one inside the other um, and put the shoes away after we pull shipping. All right, let's keep going. The next item, again, another buyer, might even be the same buyer. We have Aeropostel women's jeans. They're a size 10. I've had those for a while. And Sandals Resort uh, Terry Bathrobe, 55 50 for the two items. And we're going to go over to women's jeans. I am still trying to get rid of women's jeans. I did try selling them as a bulk lot, um, but it, there were just too many. So here are women's jeans back here. I would like to just have this rack to use for something else and just pull this out of here. But for now, we're going to pull the women's jeans. Aeropostel, size 10. Here are the jeans all ready to go out. I will slip them into a clear plastic bag. So I'm going to put that in the Ikea bag. And the next item is a Sandals Resort robe. It's like a spa robe. And as you can see, I keep various items on this rack here. This one is sleepwear. All right, so let's see. This changes around sometimes. Here are women's robes. So recently I took sleepwear and separated out the robes because they're so bulky. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this bin down and we'll see if the spa robe is in here. All right, we're going to kick this into the light a little bit and see where we're at. Lots of kimono robes, vintage robes. This is it here. Let's see if I can get, this is a one size spa robe. See how chunky this is? Really needs to be in its own bin. A lot of times the items that are really bulky, I don't put in bins because it would take up too many bins. Right now bins are so expensive. So I'm glad I have a back stock of new bins ready to go. Um, I was paying, I think, probably about $7 for the, you know, for the good bins, the good totes, and now they're like ridiculous pricing. So I'm not sure if it's, you know, gas prices, because I believe petroleum makes plastic. Don't quote me on that. All right, let's bring this over to the table. And what did I say? I think I got $55 for the two together. It was $39.50 I got for the robe and $16 for the jeans, which are already in the bag. All right, let's see what else sold. Here is an item that did take a while to sell, probably a couple of months if I had to guess. I don't really date my items in the listing to know when I bought it. I know you can do that. There is a place for a SKU number and you can actually create a code that lets you know exactly what date you bought it, but I have no concern about that. My items can be with me for a while before they sell. This pillow, I see it right here. It's the last pillow to go, and this one sold for $19.99, I believe. So let's pull this down nice and light. How adorable. Three kittens, 
think I got this at a yard sale. Sometimes it all blends together, but I'm pretty sure I picked this up at a yard sale. Velvet backing, beautifully clean, and $19.99. I think I paid a dollar for this. I think I remember. Not positive, but that's what I think is going on. All right. What else this morning? I try to get all of my shipping ready by 9 a.m. because that's usually between 9 and 10 is when the postal truck comes to my house. Next up, vintage wood jar with pottery lid. Another multiple purchase. All right. So we have a lot of jars here. I'm actually going to go into it so we can see what we're talking. And... It is one with a, like a decorated lid, so this shouldn't be too hard to find. I have to pull this out of there. I always like to be able to see what's behind things. We're going to tuck this one in there. All the inventory always coming in and going out. It's a constant rotation. All right, I don't see it on this shelf yet. It could be on this shelf also. Mostly I keep my wood together. So once in a while, I do have to hunt a little bit. I feel like it's going to be here. You know, when you deal with the shelves every day, usually you can remember where things get put. Okay, while I was downstairs getting ready to pull this little jar, I'm like, I know I've seen this. Where did I put this? And it quickly came to me that it is in my living room. So sometimes I do put a piece on my personal, you know, mantle or shelves and here it is here. Let's, let's grab this. <laughs> that is so funny. All right. And what did this bring? Let's put it down there. This brought $15. So that is proof that sometimes I enjoy items until they sell. Now, I think everything on this shelf is kept in my personal collection. I don't think I have any of this listed. Um, I do keep my living room fairly bare, I know. But, you know, with having this much stuff going on, um, I find it important to keep my visual uh, personal space clear. So I'm going to put that there because that's where we're going to be shipping out. But we are going to go back downstairs and continue shipping. How funny is that? I knew I saw it, like, quite frequently. All right, let's go to the next item. J. Jill, it's a velvet button-down shirt, $29.99. I think this one is packed down. It's a medium. All right, so this is shirts here. Women's medium solids. It's going to be in this bin. Okay, so this is the medium's bin. Solid blouses and tops. Here's a purple. I don't think this is it. That is Laura Scott. Oh, this looks like it's the correct one. J. Jill, medium velvet top. How beautiful. J. Jill does have gorgeous clothing, I have to say. I don't pick up all J. Jill, but when you see a velvet in this beautiful, like, eggplant purple, so romantic, just so pretty. And what did that sell for? $29.99. A quick change of the camera battery. You know, if you don't film for YouTube, you have no idea of the detail that goes on. So you always have to have extra batteries charged. This is the depleted one. Now this goes on the charger. New battery in the camera. We are ready to go. $22, a green glazed pottery jar. And I see it right here. Hopefully I can pick this up with one hand without breaking it. Let's bring this into the light. That is beautiful. I love storage jars like this, and I guess other people do too. I love that finish. All right, so that brought $22. Next up, Everlane. It's a pair of dress pants, women's, 10, full leg and wool. So that's either going to be on this rack in pants. There is one pair of pants. It should be right around here. If it's not folded, seems to me they might be folded. All right, so I try to always check the racks now because so much of my inventory is waiting to be folded that a lot of times I found myself digging through bins and saying, where is this? And realizing, oh yeah, it's on the rack. <laughs> okay, could be on that rack too, but we are going to go over to pants. Tell them a crazy woman this morning. Let's go back to pants. Everlane, size 10 is a medium. So we want this bin right here. This is the bin I'm going to pull. Okay, here is the medium pants bin. Everlane size 10. 
those look to be them oh i'm trapped gotta go the other way <laughs> all right let's go ahead and put these in the bag and what did those bring sixteen dollars next up is a vintage bohemian or bohemia lead glass cut bud vase fifteen dollars I don't even remember buying that, but I do see it on the shelf. How pretty is that? Let's reach in and get that very carefully. All right. Glass is not that bad for me shipping. Um, I do, you know, heavily pad it and pack it. Lots of packing peanuts and bubble wrap and foam, all the things. So it doesn't break as easily as pottery. This is so pretty. Beautiful star design. All right, the next item up is an art pottery bowl. It is a vase, $38. I think that is on the top shelf. Let's step up on this stool. I think it's, there it is right there. We're gonna put this little vase of flowers in here for now. I'll probably forget that's in there, so I wanna take that back out. Let's see if I can get this bowl out without hurting it. Ugh. So pretty. Aren't people so talented? Look at that. That bowl is hand thrown. Stunning. Okay, $38. Just so pretty. All right, next item up will be on the metal shelves. These shelves all have metal and uh, flatware, things like that. Is this little olive oil tin? And this sold for $9.99. I think I remember buying this in Roots Flea Market. I think I paid a dollar or two for it. So there is that. All right, what else do we have left? A pair of earrings and a pair of uh, men's Patagonia pants for $34. I'm just going to grab those and then close everything up. I have a super busy day, but wanted to hang out with you guys. Love you guys so much. Thank you for all of the support. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Okay, so it is Monday afternoon. I am just out running errands. I stopped at this Panera because I belong to the Panera Sip Club. I always sound like I'm a commercial for different places, but I love finding things for a really good deal. So the Panera Sip Club is where you pay one subscription price. I think it's $11 a month and you get free fountain drinks or coffee, I think, every single day of the month. You can go in, I think every two hours or something. I don't go in that often. So I stopped to get my Sip Club iced tea. It's just unsweet tea and came out just about to head out to another errand and I see a Goodwill right between this fence, right across the street. Let's pop over there. Let's see what we can find to flip for a profit. All right, so there is where the Panera is that I was just in. My camera trying to focus. And this is right across the street. Honestly, I don't think I miss a Goodwill. This one is in Roarstown, which is really only about 15 minutes from my house, but um, I don't come here that often. Let's go in and see how the store is doing. All right, so the footage might look a little bit different on this camera because I just have my phone with me. I don't have my GoPro. That never stops me. Oh, we forgot to look at the color tag. Okay, 50% off. I'm looking for the color tag color. I missed it. Let's, let's pop back and see if we can see. It is green. <laughs> okay, now we're ready. I have groceries in the car, so I can't stay too long. So we're gonna keep our eyes open for green tag because today is Monday, green tag will be half off. Steve Madden coat, $12.99. That would be $6.50. Misty Harbor, Angelina. All right, we're gonna shoot back to hard goods. Some artwork, Showboat, a classical musical tale in the Gershwin Theater. Hmm. 
Now, like I said, I don't come to this Goodwill that often. I haven't really found much here. I mean, I've found a few things, but generally this is not one of the better Goodwills. But let's change that today. Let's see if we can find something good. There is a cow watering can lamp shade that is quite unique. See how these shelves are? It's so funny because the big Goodwill that I just took you guys to is only like maybe 20 minutes away. Oh, I remember these Pyrex. That is nice. So that comes with the container. I don't know if Pyrex still makes these. It's nice, it keeps the casserole warm. But uh, Pyrex doesn't really bring much. The clear Pyrex, I should say. Oh, this is very unique. Huh, that looks like it has the insert to it, $5. I'm gonna have to open that up and see if it is in good shape. I'm gonna put that right in, that's very unique. Okay, so even though this store is quieter, <laughs> uh, less attended, because look how bare the shelves are. Not seeing anything all that great. This might be a quicker trip than I planned. Okay, some toys. <laughs> this is going to be a very quick trip. Oh, belts. Let's check out the belts. Come on, belts. All right, so this is Jose Bank. Three dollars. That's not too bad. I might take that one. Now, I don't buy a lot of Jose Bank, but that is a nice belt. Leather, $2.99. We're going to put that in the cart. There's always something to find at every thrift store. Here is a woven belt. This almost looks like a Nautica or... So, oh, tag is falling off. Who is this? Let's put the tag back on. Stick into my finger. Made in China. All right, we're going to skip that one. New York Company. This one is interesting. Steelers. Who is making a Steelers belt? Mmm, it's got some wear to it, some serious damage. That's a shame. For $3.99. Yeah, this is like a bonded leather. See the peeling? That tells you that it's not solid leather. That's a shame because I would have picked that up. Pittsburgh Steelers. I wonder if I could sell that anyway. You know what? I might take that. I know that sounds crazy. What could I sell that for? Oh, I'm going to put it back. <laughs> I'm going to come to my senses. Okay, we're going to do handbags real quick. What is this little thing? <laughs> it's kind of cute. Okay, they have shoes mixed in. Excuse me. We're at the wallet section. I am looking for all leather. I'm looking for vintage. Uh, Vera Bradley would be okay. Oh, this is cute. Oh, uh, the strap is worn. That's all beaded. I do like that one. That is very pretty, but I don't think it's anything. Reading glasses. I wonder what prescription they are. All of my glasses are getting broken. I have found eyeglasses um, that have sold for over $100. So eyeglasses is something really good to learn. The eyeglasses niche, sunglasses, things like that. All right, so that is toys. Again, toys. Did we do this aisle already? Let's go down this aisle. Oh, a plastic charger plate. It's kind of funny. I always equate charger plates with fancy holidays or, you know, just a formal, and then they give you melamine. You know, you think of outdoor entertaining. It's kind of like a mix of both worlds. All right, we might only have two things. Did I go down that aisle? 
Are you guys keeping track of this for me? I think I did this, Sia. Mm, maybe yes, maybe no. Nope, I don't think I did this, Sia. Let's see. Oh, scrunchy hair, hair things. I do like these. I don't know that I would buy it from Goodwill, though. I think people tried them. Avon bottles. Oh, these are adorable. What are these? Look at that design. Little milk glass. Is that Avon? I don't see any marking on it at all. $3.99. If it was green tag, I'd pick it up. I don't know who this is. Okay, I'm tempted to open the bag to see that it has no chips or cracks. Yeah, just a simple milk glass. I think I was in Goodwill for all of maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15. That'd probably be stretching it. I did get the Jose Bank belt, a little tiny bit of wear, not bad, $2.99. I should be able to flip this for 16, I'm gonna say. And I did go with this little chip and dip set. This is definitely vintage. Look how cute that is. Comes in its own little baskety. Look at all the work that went into that. And when you open it up, oh, I love these. Very colorful. I can see playing cards with this and having, I think somebody's pretzel salt is still in there. They were having such a good time. Uh, what game does this remind me of? I don't know. I see a slight marking on it, but I don't think it says anything. Kind of like an Asian flair, but I thought this would be great to play games and just have little, little nuts and little, uh, dips or something very fun okay guys that is it for me today thank you so much for hanging out hit the like and subscribe button if you will and the bell notification so you know when i post another video which almost every week is wednesday and sunday thanks again for watching go out and get what's yours